is what I am most impressed with. This is my throat. Whew. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> that lighting. Oh my. What's up, guys? GrimxV here. In today's video, I wanted to share with you all a walkthrough of my finished castle. I built this on a no wipe server I've been playing on for a while, and I decided to invite Terrible Timmy to go through it with me. This admittedly ended up being way longer than I thought, but there's a lot to show, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Why are there 50 of you? <laughs> Why are there 50 of you? <laughs> you know what? So you have not seen any of this. I haven't seen any. I All I saw was the uh, battle arena and the path yeah, to it. Yeah, so. right, from the tournament early. Okay, so yes. my yes. whole goal with this castle was I wanted to make a video showing people that you don't have to just have strictly honeycomb and amazing to be viable right. at pvp like yes. you can have both and that's exactly what i've done here i've got my initial choke and then the rest of the castle is very very nice going up here we have like kind of the static choke i did just mm -hmm. put a few decorations just to make it look nice but right away my immediate defenses outside of these 1x uh you know uh honeycombs is i have my right. blood golem here which busted for anyone that's used this thing you know it's got like a 15 20 second respawn or something crazy it comes uh, up so fast oh and he's triggered here <laughs> he's very triggered <laughs> yeah oh geez. oh my god 168 stun. yeah 168 so that's, and a stun i mean that that's thing, so crazy it will shred a golem on its own like it's insane it's does just so the, much damage and the aoe stuns are just yeah wild. every like, hit it's the auto every too. hit everything stuns, yeah. stuns. And uh, I'm glad we're in clan here because I forgot. Yes, I yes, totally yes. Open that. But, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but we've got servants right here. Um, I didn't even go for a comp, to be honest. I just kind of like haphazardly, you know, I got the standard two cleric. I've got yeah, yeah. A, a scholar and then I pretty much just threw these guys in there so I could do the end game zone. But right. nothing crazy. Um, it would be eight, but this servant has a limit of uh, a five on the server. So, right. Yeah. So that's that. And then right here in uh I see the yep we've got the banshees right banshees here, right here. directly behind this door so I, the reason why this plot kind of surprised me in all my hours i've never built here but you're able to have pretty much three forms of defense right here off the initial choke point like that's I can have so strong banshees here the blood golem and servants all without interacting with each other it's insane that it really is crazy yeah, yeah that's the thing i was noticing whenever i ran when i was running past to the dojo i was looking at i saw this the Oh yeah, Verminess? yeah. And I was like, you got Verminess in here as yeah. well. Like, yeah, geez. dude, it's crazy. That's so good. Yeah, yeah. and that, it, it's crazy. Like, there's just so many of them, especially yeah. the four of nests. There's so many of them, and they just swarm, and you don't even really expect it. Right. And but they just hit so exactly, hard. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like, and there's so many of them. It's like <laughs> unless somebody comes through and like just heart strikes them or something. Like, yeah. You're, you're like, not you, gonna. You yeah. have to pay attention to them. Like they will absolutely yes. kill you. <laughs> It will do so much damage, yeah. So pretty much from about this layer though is where the honeycomb kind of stops. Like back here, yep. I do have uh, some rooms. Like you can actually look in all these, but I have kind of the way I, I normally do my chest. I have like some storage here with extra mats. Um, I usually keep, you know, all my pots. I keep some blood here for uh, reviving servants. I keep some gym dust in that one as well and uh some backup pots and some uh i actually keep explosives here too in this chest mm. and the oh, reason for that idea, is yeah. you know they can blow up golems if you manage to get out there it's so, like and if i'm really pressured i'll i'll go out there and do that and then you know my lock box is just repair mats with uh i keep yep. 2k stygian just for summoning that guy and a one blood key that, or a gold that key. makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. Um, I always like to feature my builds with one of these little rooms in case like I die with a bunch of mats and need to just quickly go out and farm something to get it cooking. Mm. And then these two just act as like, uh, as raid dumps. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. just a bunch of random stuff. In yep. There. Just stuff in there. Yep. So back here, I keep my teleporter. We're not going to take this cause it'll spoil part uh, of the build. Sure, but sure, sure. I wanted to showcase this because it's out the way enough to where I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like a lot of players in PvP, they don't utilize that in that when you're getting out of the raided, way stuff. you can put it out of the way. You know, it's not a direct to it. Nobody really knows it's there because I haven't shown anyone, first of all. And then second of right, all, right, right. if I'm really pressured, I can just go delete that, right? As soon as a golem That's drops, true. I That's delete true, yep. and they do not get access to my upper floors. 
All right, we have our bottom floor teleporter, so we can quickly go to the action. We're right here behind the servants. I just have a chest there with just uh, mats yep. to keep uh, banshees going. And then all this you saw too, just another random chest. We have mutated rats. Yes, the horrifying yes. mutated rats. <laughs> Shout out for Mortis on that one. So this out here is where we were earlier. For those that don't know, yep. we held a, a tournament here earlier on the server. It was a lot of fun. Omni now picking his autos very careful. You can see he doesn't want to proc that discharge. Keep me now comfortable with her leads going to Lobo, but Omni lining it up. Huge. That was sick. Oh my God. This might be an upset. We'll see. Very back and forth right now. Cheap Meat landed just an auto and a Q there at the end there to get herself back in the lead. But all it could take is one huge combo. Oh, so close. Omni almost went out there. He still has a chance. Goes for the lineup, but misses it. Goes into the spear Ooh. queue at the end. The naked spear queue. What the fuck? Unfortunately, he walked into uh. it. And that is going to oh, be it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dios santísimo. But this is the dojo I've made. I kept the lighting pretty minimal in order to keep FPS up. Hopefully that didn't bog you down too much in the fights, but I think it's it was, a, yep, it's in a good spot. Yeah, it was yeah. there was just a like I, I mean the tiniest amount, but it's not yeah. it wasn't much more than you would get just like out in open world. One thing you notice about the castle is I have a lot of little nooks. Like mm -hmm. yes. everywhere I, there's a corner, I've stuck something in it. So that's my little nook for out here. Some people they'll come up and you know put their horses out there, which is kind of cool. That is, yeah. Up here is where we start to get to some of the prettiness of the castle. So this is my outdoor garden. So once again with those nooks, and then as you see out here, I've got a sitting area, and then of course the main event, I have a massive blood shrine out here, Yeah. and I kind of oh, like yeah. wanted this ceremonial in nature, so that's kind of the veal of it. Yeah, yeah. Lots of red, and um, I have the Dracula shard on the server, as you know, so that's the yep. theme of the whole castle. Right, just red it out, yep. Yeah. This is looking super nice. Thank you, man. cool thing is all these have a use like i actually come and gather these when i need something like even over here i have my grapes i have some cotton and then uh right. in this little shrine over here this one tucked away is where i put my little ghost shirt ah, that's yeah. awesome yeah so it came in handy it's super nice. and you'll see it but uh, right above us is a balcony and i actually oh. built that balcony before all this down here so we're gonna see a pretty nice view i i built all of this with that one view in mind so oh that's awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this just looks super nice this is something that i i haven't really explored much so because whenever you mentioned you wanted to do a base tour mm -hmm. i was like once i was on this once i got on the server i was like i gotta do something i can't i never <laughs> i never built good looking castles i yeah. never do so once you, once then I heard you know you met my brother who was like just going through this whole thing yeah yeah and he was just he, all I heard was him in Discord just being like what just freaking out <laughs> loses his mind and I was like man okay I gotta do something I've never yeah, done man. it and so I'm gonna do it so this is your this is this is crazy though dude like, there's <laughs> so much you can do like this is the true end game I am convinced nobody right. can tell me otherwise like the decorating true game is, is the is, end yes. game. <laughs> yeah it's unbelievable.
Yeah, it turned out good. And uh, you can probably tell from all the stuff on the pillars, but like the whole theme of the castle outside of being Dracula based is just, you know, overgrown. So you're going to see a lot yes. of greenery. All right, and here's what I am most impressed with. This is my throne room. Whew. This is so nice. <laughs> that lighting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. is how you're mixing the red with the orange mm, mm -hmm. yeah it looks that there's like a certain red and orange like combination it just looks so good yeah it's not man. just strictly red it's like both together and something that I, I think the pve community probably knows but you know underneath these like uh garden planters yeah. you have actual planters so there's actual blood rose and sunflower in there underneath it right so it's like it allows you to do some really interesting things like i, I didn't point right. it out when we were in the garden but i have them like you know under the water fountain that was out there the yeah. water well you do all kinds of stuff and the really cool part about this is you know of course these side areas are, are meant to be kind of like a noble seating area and you, right. know, you have the main lead up to the throne but you can get into all of this like you can actually yeah, come back here so and cool. sit yeah you know, actually no get in blocking. There. Yeah. yeah oh that's awesome <laughs> it's really cool yeah, very very cool. happy with how this one come out Oh, look at this. Yeah, Someone man, here so to read from the altar. You got to address the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this will come into play. I, I have a feeling we'll be using this room. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I, It was a joke when I first started showing people the castle. They're like, okay, we have to raid you just so we can get in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you have music on. I, I keep mine off personally, but I do mm -hmm. have the Dracula theme playing, playing all yes. throughout the castle. So. Yes, I've I've been hearing it. Yeah, yeah I, man. I, I just I love the music, so I always just keep it on, even Dude, though half the time I'm like, <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. Yeah, it really is. So I, I have this is mirrored on the other side oh. here, but I've made just like a nice little picture, kind of like takeaway in the, in that nook there, and uh, these That's stairs the behind us and these two doors on either side, it is symmetrical. They're just decoys. So this goes back to kind of some of the clever oh. building for PvP. Yeah, yeah. You know, someone coming in and seeing those, they might be like, okay, that's the way up. This is going to the way, yeah, it's and going it's, to the top. It's yeah, nothing, yeah. Yeah. And it's literally just nothing, right? Nope, it's just nothing there for them. I had a thought at one point, and I, did, I didn't finish it before we got to this, but I was going to do like a little cobwebbed attic up there with some vases. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That'd this, be good, though. This side over here is the Oof. study slash library, and I'm really happy with how this turned out, too. So that's that's, that's super nice there. Thank you, man. And then over here, we do have the mirrored once again. We kind of saw the other mm -hmm. side from up there. But this is my war room.
yeah. Oh, so yeah. a little cramped coming in there, but I like to kind of like, you know, hold some RP meetings here. We'll have someone, yes. uh, you know, I was telling you before I did a Hitman role play. So this is where they mm. would come and we discuss contracts and raids and stuff. Sure. So yeah. super cool stuff. This is awesome. Thank you. And then uh, we I have a lot of outdoor seating areas. This is the first of them. Mm. Another thing that kind of shocked me, you know, my neighbors aside, but the views just with like the natural lakes and stuff in this base and right this plot, it's really nice oh yeah like even to the, the waterfall love the, down there yes exactly the waterfall and then like the just the giant valley down there it looks yeah so man it's really surprising but I, I like this plot a lot i can't believe i've never built here right. yeah. i tried to pack in as much detail as i could in this base for sure there's so much detail even yeah. just a little minor amount of detail it's very very nice like it just you can look right there oh just underneath the yeah little <laughs> yeah, bust <I> there <laughs> you get the stuff coming in every tiny little thing you get the rug on the ground like it, like seriously this is a lot of detail here there's so <laughs> many little tiny individual pieces that's right man i wanted it to feel like a full like royalty type base you know everything had yeah. to have a place something else i tried to do if we get to this little passageway i tried to do like a, a lot of little outside nooks like this as we transition yeah this is this so is it, super cool yeah so it kind of feels like you're going from like one wing of the base to the other right like it's got right. that effect so this is where we get to all of my main production though so here i just have straight up honeycomb just to you know yeah yeah, yeah for sure anyone. just in case yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, you yeah. still gotta work that in everywhere you can <laughs> right 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 for sure yeah. it's that last minute uh-oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, this room is, this one was a bit of a struggle, but I think it turned out well. So I decided to make really nice. this kind of like just a little armory, um, because we mm. do have the smithy right above us, as you'll see in a minute. But I, I think okay. it's simple enough. I really like using these, uh, backdrops here with that lighting and just something about that particular with the orange. I like the way yeah. it reflects. It looks really nice. Yes. That looks super good. Yeah, man. And then, uh, in here I made just a little cozy little lounge. first base i started experimenting with plants underneath the desks and i really yeah. like the effect it gives man it's subtle yeah, it does. but very it looks, nice it is yeah just a little bit of plants growing up through it kind of thing where it looks like you kind of just have the plants on the thing it looks nice yeah yeah because like almost like a bouquet on the table yeah and uh something i like to incorporate when i can too if i have to come like if i am in a deep siege i'll come here and this leads directly to the throne room so mm -hmm. if a golem is there, you know, I can still do some ranged abilities That's, and get some damage yeah. down. This whole thing is very, like, <laughs> just extremely just, you know, circu I guess you could say circuit is just very, yeah, like, I, roundabout. It's, I had a, it's very, it's awesome. But. I had a couple people telling me it reminded them of, like, the Hogwarts castle. <laughs> just all mm, the twists yes, and turns. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but this is my smithy slash floors room. really well um something and this is the first time i've done this but i put these two back to back and then i have right, a little right. fountain here as if it was like a quinch right I thought right that right. was kind of clever that is cool yes <laughs> that's super cool and then i made the uh i find this really difficult but i made the fabricator look good somehow i just stuck it right yeah, there. yeah i don't know yeah that's <laughs> impressive <laughs> it works <laughs> that is impressive <laughs> and then i kept it pretty simple for my actual furnaces and then, as you can nice. see, we, we still, you know, getting back to the PvP mindset, there's still a bunch of doors separating all this. So anyone that does get in here, you know, they don't just have free reign. You know, they still have to right. chip through stuff. Uh, this is my workshop. I made a nice little workshop nook. Pretty proud of this as well. Nice and cozy. Ooh, and look at that view. Look at that view. Yeah, this one's really sick. Hmm. 
I like the uh, this right here is awesome. The gravel path oh, underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. The grinders is so good. <laughs> that just looks so good. Yeah. I mean, look at that. It's like they're actually, you know, yeah. spitting out stuff, all the stone dust. Yep, there's just <laughs> stuff all the bone stone dust isn't just like perfectly inside of it. It's like yeah, yeah. legit underneath it, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Thank you, dude. And then we're about to see that view. And you'll see the, the garden at night has a little bit more mm. of an ominous feel to it, too, with all oh, the red. look at that. Yes. Yeah. Super happy Great with view. that view, man. yeah. And like, one th you see the pathing here on the floor? I made yeah. like a little separate, like that's just a, I think it's cobblestone or something from the garden. Right. But super subtle, but it completely, ch it's it's like this is a separate yeah. floor, you know? It, it's made a nice little cutaway. That is super, so yeah, that is really nice. Yeah. And then so back to the practical side, midway through this, I realized I had absolutely nowhere to get grapes in the base. So, so I, I stuck this here and like, you know, did a little grape farm underneath. So I'm like, okay, maybe nobles are sitting out here lounging or something and they're just eating right. grapes. So I was like, okay, I guess, grapes, it fits. guess it does. It does. <laughs> this looks good. Yeah. And then I decided to do open stair here. So I do lose a door, but the aesthetic, it just, it looked too oh, good. Oh, it, it looks so good. Yes. <laughs> So all out here, and we'll we'll wrap around in a moment, but all out here is like just an open concept, kind of like walkway. Like I have a lot of trees planted, it's very overgrown. Um, really like how that worked out. And the reason why I kind of decided to do that is because in here, for my alchemy room, I went with like Oof. almost a botanist kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. a lot of people using those um like those green scientists flash that we saw in the study yes and i decided to just like you know completely split it up put those down there and just go full on green green here yeah and this looks awesome i can get most of my crafting materials if not all of it straight from these two little like corners i, I don't really need uh, anything else to craft pots right right yeah I mean, if i ever oh, do look at that oh. yeah <laughs> it looks good man I'm, I'm happy with this view too the crazy thing about it too is just the the fact that where this base plot lines up if i'm looking just like east here mm -hmm. it just has that giant open valley so there's no like bases in the way yeah uh, just, yeah oh it's so good it's crazy you just have a net view of the natural land yeah yeah and yeah, i yeah. gotta say this is probably my favorite plot now like yeah i did not expect to get all this packed in here it's, it's there's amazing. just so much there's so much I mean, yeah. every time we go up another floor i'm like okay what are we doing like how are we still going up here <laughs> like, yeah dude it's like how many floors is the limit again <laughs> yeah it's like wait that's a, yeah yeah i'm asking i like chat i'm like okay what is going on yeah here? Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy it's a drop. this here is just a shoot down to the smithy so oh, okay, if yeah. I need to get to the smithy, I'll actually take that teleporter, jump down, and then usually oh, I'll, right. I'll go back up from that blue teleporter that was uh, down below the smithy. Okay. Yeah, yep. so kind of a, a nice little loop there. Not too much of an inconvenience. And then out here... Oh, yeah, this, this is cool. This turned out nice, dude. This is where oh, I put my yeah, actual look at throne. That. The throne itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that looks... Dude. Oh, yeah. Nice ominous lead up. <laughs> So this actually, this area actually started out with just this and the teleporter. I wanted like a, you know, almost like a heaven and hell kind of like mm -hmm. reflection. You know, I had the, the statue right. and I put the grinds. So I'm like, okay, it's getting corrupted or whatever. But then I realized like when I, I kid you not, I added this uh, throne probably like four days ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did not have a throne in my castle because I never sent yeah. servants for whatever reason. I don't know why. Right, right. I just don't. Dude, and, uh, I never do. I never do. 
<laughs> it just doesn't happen. Yeah, I know, man. It's so bad because they give so much, but I'm just they like, they give eh. so much. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we'll do it sometime. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so now we're getting to kind of like the private area. So, you know, we have the massive lead up here to the Dracula Shine that I own. Been holding that yep. down for a yes. while. Happy yes, about yes, that. yes, yes. <laughs> um, over yes. here, I just have, you know, some bloods. I would have a, a warrior in there, but I just keep a worker. I haven't found a 100% warrior yet. Um, this shoot, we'll see this. I got to figure out how we're going to see this, but this actually takes you directly down behind oh, the throne room. That is, yeah, I was looking down that, look at that one. Yeah. Like, look at the, counting the floors. That's yeah, awesome. so we saw it a little bit when we went up, up those stairs that were on the side of the mm -hmm. throne, but mm -hmm. that just takes mm -hmm. you straight down to a little hidden room back there. Oh, that's nice. And this is what I've done with the jewel crafting room. Oh. Turned out pretty decent. I uh, yeah. I tweaked this room a lot. I could never really get it to where I was 100% confident with it and I, or comfortable. And I think that's just because of the shape. But you have something nice to look at at every angle. So I, I, I'm i happy right. with that at least. Yeah, this is... Yep, this is good. The carpets. Yeah, like I like the carpet. Like the, yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but it's just like the different carpet placements are really nice. Like how it all yeah. matches it up. I try to vary that up a lot. I feel like, you know, it's cool to have just like the straight line of carpet or, you know, just carpet covering the whole floor, mm -hmm. but I really mm -hmm. feel like it adds a lot when you vary it up a bit. It's going to be funny when Sholo sees this too, because I know she's super yeah. into the decorating scene. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it sucks she couldn't join us, but yeah, she'll see the video. Absolutely. And now oh, this is that. another outdoor sitting area. And even, yeah, like even over there, I think the that's glade, the glade, dude. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the glade right there, meadows, or whatever it's called. So cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, gleaming meadows. Look at yeah. that. I was trying to figure out, am I like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, what is that? Like, I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> yeah. Even just like the fogged over lake down yeah. there, like trailing off. Oh, it's look super at that. Cool. It is. This is honestly a beautiful game, man. Like, I. It is, it's crazy what they did with it. It is. It really is. Especially with the 1.0 update, that just like the graphical update itself was fantastic. Oh yeah, I 100% agree. They they did so much with the lighting alone. It's insane. Mm -hmm. So this is my tailoring room. This I'm happy with. So I, this I is cool. did this purely to eat up space, but it turned out really well. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, we have a little tucked away changing area back here. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's very practical looking. We have a little outdoor area in case you need to get some air with yet another view. Mm. And then over here, we kind of get to like, we have a, a waiting area is what this pretty much is. And then this uh, training W is meant to meant to act like a mannequin almost. A mannequin, yeah. Yeah, so like back here you have all the production where like the quote unquote workers would be, and then you know they're presenting their wares up front to the guests right. that wait. Yeah, that's awesome. 
really happy with this one. Great, great, great room. Thank you. And with this little bit of awkward space, I decided to make myself mm. a nice little nook. So this is a nice. very small area, but it feels so right. cozy. <laughs> It's like, like I was I'm looking at it, like it's like a two by two and then like this small little L off the side. Yeah. But you have everything you need. You got a little study, yeah. you have, you know, a relaxation area. A little fireplace. Yeah, yeah. You got your coffin, your mirror, your cash, you know. <laughs> and then you got your little <laughs> training nick over here where everything you need. Yeah, yeah. You even got a view. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn Burn alive. Alive. <laughs> it just disappears. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It turned out well. Super nice. And then coming down here, this is like almost like a den or like a little lounging area. Hmm. Nice little quiet cozy Looks space. super nice. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, the fireplaces just add so much. <laughs> they do, man. It's like the ambiance, you know? Yeah. And then over here, it's... So, okay, I don't, I don't know how, I feel about, how you feel about putting this on YouTube, but this is like a dungeon <laughs> slash club. You can, you can probably uh, tell the yes. kind by all the rest. I saw this I saw this right here. I was like, okay, I think yeah. I know where we're going with this. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I, I've got subtle detail. They like got some chains on the wall if you're into that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got a mirror room over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like using these um i don't even like these partitions like you can just create uh, yeah. whole separate rooms with these like, yeah it's that's really it's super cool yeah yeah small little very easy nooks that like yeah like yeah. i mean this right here like this alone is really cool instead of just yeah. having stuff in the corner you have like this tiny little spot yeah it takes up the space so well and it like gives you privacy it's super good yeah and we got <laughs> you know <laughs> succubuses or a succubi back here <laughs> <laughs> and then I even have like a little private VIP area, you know? Yeah. A little tuck oh, away. Yeah. I got some posters on the wall in case things get too crazy. You know how it goes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you never know. Yeah, you never know what things are going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in case somebody needs a, a top up on the road. Right, there. right. <laughs> a little too much exposed vein. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the main dining room, but also oh, back here. That is nice. This little strip okay, is meant to be like a kitchen. So you, oh, you have like, you okay. know, a little fountain to wash your hands. And then of course we mm. have two prisoners. One thing special about this is I don't have 100%, but I, I still have dude, two vintage is... you know? Oh, that's so good. We like, we have a vintage taste over here. So. Oh, yes, yeah. We like, it, we like it dirty, you know? We yeah, like dirty yeah. Blue, yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought that's that was kind of a cool addition. Yeah. And then this dining room, yeah, with the carpet and then these two flowers coming out of the center it just honestly it turned out way better than it's, i ever could oh, have expected yeah. the cotton out of the center is so nice yeah nice little centerpiece one more outdoor sitting area here oh uh, yep just in case we need to play some chess yep yep someday that'll be real <laughs> i know dude i was i was talking to someone earlier today and i was like it'd be so cool if that was in the game 
and oh, he was like, the window or something. Yeah, he was like, he was like, oh, you can do it now. You just got to be like, you know, knight to e seven. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not that good at chess. First <laughs> you of all, you made your brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no way. Yeah. Like, it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is absorbed with a lot of things. It is not absorbed. Right. With <laughs> There's no way. Um, so this is our third little like. It's kind of cool where you can look down and see that other yeah. exit way. But this is our third oh, little yeah, yeah, yeah. outdoor passageway, yeah. and this is taking us to what is the servant quarters of the castle. So we'll we'll see that oh, in yeah. a minute. That is like the lounge area for the servants, but directly up here at the top of it is what they're guarding, which is where yeah. I have the other shards house. tight space but uh, yeah. i think it works like i, I made it oh, unique yeah, enough sure. i feel like yeah and this looks awesome the way you use the flowers to kind of just work yeah. with the colors of these is awesome yeah, yeah it's i saw originally i just had the carpets but i decided to do this like last minute because i was like well i've got all that blood rose you know around the dracula shrine so like it only makes mm -hmm. sense that i would kind of do something similar for these right right yeah and the crazy thing about this this whole plot here i mean this is a big plot yeah. You know, like this is a big plot, but like the amount of stuff you put in this makes it feel like it's <laughs> 10 times bigger than I, oh, I would yeah. ever think it is. I just the one thing yeah. I will say I wish for the roofs that it uh, we were able to have pointed roofs because like I went to the yes. building height so it's just super flat all the way across. Yes, like, ah. that's it. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yes, that's the thing. Same thing. I have uh, I've, I've been trying to put like small little spots that are kind of like towers. Oh yeah, online, yeah. and yeah. you can make it kind of in some ways, but like it has to be a really small thing, and it's also just ends up being kind of difficult to like. Yeah. Sadly, make it like work. it, it yeah. forces you to do like a cascading like floor plan yes. if you want to do it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that up there was the little lounge area. This up mm. here, or this here, is like the uh, living quarters for the servants. if you will so that we've got hmm. you know little like place for them to sit we have a nice little library yeah. i made a little personal shrine of myself for them to look at you just gotta hmm. remind them <laughs> yes who's who yes. yeah yeah and then the, this was pretty interesting too i put this so this is a wooden bench that i just yeah. put facing the wall and stuck some planters uh, underneath and i almost cool. turned it into like a little nice indoor flower bed so it was right i thought that turned out really nice yeah that is really cool look at that yeah it's kind of cool yeah that's got to be probably one of the favorite things I've discovered in this build, because I, I don't think I've done that before this one. And then over here, they have just, once again, their own mm. little changing area. And that, my friend, is going to be cool. the build. We'll come back down awesome. to where that initial little raid dump room was. And you can see we're right back at the start. So well, lastly, yeah, just from a PvP standpoint, back when I had all the shards, I was forcing them to choose. It's like, you either go deep into the castle and you know try to mm. get to my loot or you just go straight mm -hmm. to the shard so straight, yeah right splitting up rooms like that i find really useful for when you're trying to do a kind of best of both worlds build like this too yeah just moving yeah some stuff is some yeah exactly mm -hmm. splitting all up together oh no uh, is he is he up he's oh, alive he is up. oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh man but that's the build man what do you think of it yeah that's super nice dude very well done. Oh, gosh, I'm okay. <laughs> As he stuns you on your way out. <laughs> nice little parting gift. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate you coming by to see it, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This probably took me, I would say, every bit of like three to four weeks to do. Sheesh. Yeah, That's man. so much, yeah. Yeah, but really proud Very of well it. Very well done. Absolutely. You, you should be. That is that's that is awesome. <laughs> like, mm. Super cool. Do a little fly over. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yep. See what it looks like. <laughs>